Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new frame and it's called the F2 Mito 210. Now this is a 5 inch quadcopter and it's going for only $27 so I thought I really wanted to try it because it's I guess a new brand name in a way and plus it was very cheap. So 27 bucks could get you good stuff sometimes and sometimes could get you absolutely terrible stuff. So this one is actually an exception. I mean, the overall quality is actually pretty good for 27 bucks. Um, the, the, the carbon is absolutely nice. It's very, it's actually finished pretty well on the sides, pretty well cut. And uh, the overall structural integrity is very beautiful. And we'll get into that right now. So the top plate here is two millimeters as well as both bottom plates. As you can see there, they're both two millimeters. We do have the camera side plates here are 1.5 millimeters. The height on the inside Side, the standoff height I should say is 30 millimeters but you only get actually 27 millimeters of usable space because of this spacer in here now this spacer I thought it was aluminum or it could be aluminum but uh, I went to tighten it down super hard as hard as I can to see if I can get it to strip to figure out if it's that butter aluminum or something very good and that thing did not even want to budge it fits absolutely beautiful and this whole this little you know uh nut kind of thing that's going on here which is holding all the screws into the frame i mean look at that that is insane so i really like this the overall structural integrity is absolutely beautiful and rigid so that's very good to see so the arm width here is 13 millimeters so fitting escs here can prove to be a bit difficult you probably want to go with a 4 in 1 esc here and some kind of all-in-one flight controller but that's up to you that's how i would go about doing this now motor protection you really don't get any motor protection as you can see here yeah it's, so the whole the whole idea i believe of this one is to be cheap and light and as well have some decent quality and from quality it's pretty decent but there's a couple little well actually one nice feature that um i can see here that not a lot of frames are doing lately which is this right here you see these two holes these are meant for if you're gonna basically just put a run cam split or run cam mini you can use the metal bracket with these two holes and remove the side plates and have that hold your camera so you can do that as well uh, which is pretty cool and I really like it because this camera plates here are a bit weird can you see that that's just two holes next to each other so I don't know how this will hold anything um, I've never had a frame that came like this. So this is going to be pretty interesting. You might have to get some kind of custom screw or some kind of a spacer maybe, but we'll figure it out as time goes on. Now the amount of space you have uh, from front to back is very minimal. As you can see here, maybe around five millimeters of space right there before you hit the standoff in the back. Here, what's so nice, they added a little cutout. So whatever board is on the bottom has a little extra space. But basically your standoff is going to bring it up to here and that'll be useless. So you could probably be for rounding your wires without cutting them. So overall, I mean, it's pretty nice. You get four millimeter arms, so that's very good. Um, they are replaceable. There is no interlocking mechanism, but you really don't need because you have three screws holding this down. Very, very good. This might be some steel or something. I don't think it's aluminum because it's so strong. Um, I couldn't even bend it when I was putting it together. And I was actually, I had the video of me putting it together and doing all this stuff, but I lost it. I accidentally deleted it the other day. So yeah. But anyways, uh, so far it looks pretty nice. I really like it. I really can't say much, but for 27 bucks, it looks like a good deal. Um, I do see, you know, you're going to be very limited in the amount of space here. So if you're going to use all one flight controller, think of it just, you know, um, think wisely before you go along doing this. And I think it can be used both as a top mount battery and a bottom mount battery um, frame here. So that's pretty cool. And well, they have a lot of strapping solutions up on top so that's also a big plus as you can see here for a, a battery also so i mean i really can't say much right now guys until we actually build it and take it out for a flight and i really want to build this guy actually i don't I'm not going to build them i have a pre-made uh internals of a quad which will be our frame testing stuff so i'll just stick those in there and we'll see how well it goes so i think that's what i'm going to be doing from now on so yeah so if anyone was curious here's the frame uh, its total weight was around 87 grams so it's it's pretty light it's not bad for 27 bucks and it seems like you do get some um you know rigidity you do get some strength in this frame for 27 bucks so but that's just me saying it I, I don't really know until we actually take it out and hit a couple goal posts then we'll know for sure and well, that's it, guys. So that's going to it for this video. If anyone's used it, let us know down in the comment section. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And this frame 
does look pretty sexy. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.